Hey my friends, welcome back. In today's video, we do some sweet stuff, as you can see here. We're gonna paint a cupcake. So we have this set of colors, these five here, where we mix the <coughs> underpainting for the yeah first layer. Here we can see that I yeah, pretty much thinned down the colors quite a bit to make sure that I still see the um, yeah, the lines of the pencil. Um, yeah, carefully trying to avoid um, overlapping, especially on the white part here, lower end. I know it looks terrible, but yeah, I let the whole thing dry by putting it on some heating device. And therefore I could basically recycle the uh, color for the underpainting. Yeah, and then we start to build up the berry on the top part here. And the uh, thing for you to learn here is that the materials behave different when the light kicks in. In this case we have uh, this, this berry that is dark but pretty reflective. This is something that you need to put in to make it look realistic. And therefore we have all these um, yeah, reflections here from the back. Those highlights, those very sharp, strong ones. Also this, this light here, another reflection. And basically this is the key part to painting realistic material, you really need to watch and really understand how the light behaves on this material. Yeah, I go on um, yeah, building up those other detail parts here. You see that I yeah, follow this rule more or less. Um, we have lots of reflections here and there and Compared to the blueberry here, the one on the left on the right side here, it's a lot more reflective. And it's something that you need to yeah, put in to make it look realistic, more or less. Then I go on and paint the uh, dough here. It's a very dark one. We have a very dark area. Then we have the shadow, and we have areas where we have light kicking in, and this light basically yeah, is bouncing off in very fine pattern from the dough. And yeah, out of a little distance it really starts to look realistic. And then we start with the main part here, and yeah, I think the best way to show you this is by yeah, doing a time lapse, more or less. <coughs> yeah, you see, we have <coughs> mixed a lot of colors here from the first um, layer for the other painting. And yeah, basically, it's just the dark areas represent the areas that are further back, and the lighter areas. Um, combined with the darker areas, basically build up the, the volume that we need here. And we also have those very yeah, light areas where we have the light yeah, kind of reflecting very strong, as you can see here. Um, yeah, to mock this up is pretty impossible, I would say, that for you. Yeah, and you just should follow on the the reference material and yeah, paint along with it more or less. And yeah, also make sure that you um, get in all those fine little details that we have here, those dark spots here that represent holes more or less uh, in the in this soft um, stuff here. And those holes, of course, need some um, 
light bouncing off the edge of this hole. And yeah, this is these other small details that really uh, make the difference, kind of, to really make it look even more realistic. And the same goes for the for those edges somehow from some areas where we have um, yeah, kind of fuzzy edges, more or less. And yeah, just make sure you get those things in to make it look realistic. Then we have the paper part here, the, the wrapping, more or less. And those dark gray areas are basically the areas where we have the dough um, sticking to this paper. Yeah, more or less um, yeah, shining through in a very strong manner. Then we have those light areas here. Maybe with the light, the strong light bouncing in, like coming in from the left side. And you, yeah, need to make sure that you um, paint those areas, that you see them on your reference photo, that you, yeah, get them in. So let the light basically um, repeat itself. Yeah, all over the painting here. So that it really looks um, realistic and harmonic in a way. And we basically have from the near pure titanium white to this darkish grayish color. Nearly everything. And I think one of the key parts here is to, to make sure that you get in the structure from the dough. And this is done by just adding some very dark spots here and there that, um, yeah, basically, how can I put it? That, yeah, make the dough looking through in some areas through this paper. And this really, yeah, again, makes, I think, a very big difference. Are we getting darker? In the shadow areas here. I started to add this mid-tone grayish color first and then I go back and rework those dark areas here and there. Also adding some of those very dark spots here. They really help to yeah, communicate this doughy character when it's fully baked. Yeah, and we're done. So, that's it for today, but make sure you check out one of these other two videos here for your leave.